often mired in conflict and division in our own families, in our parishes, in our schools, in our country, around the world. How can we sow peace? It's not easy. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It's not easy to be a Christian. It's not easy to live the way of holiness because you're going against the flow. We challenge society by the way we live. We become a nuisance. We're persecuted for the sake of justice. We're not meant to be mediocre. When we say that the cross is our only hope, we should have that hunger and that thirst for justice. When we say that in my weakness I am made strong, that's a radical statement. This is not about a mediocre life. It's a life that transforms you and other people. And Francis concludes his document by saying the ultimate criterion or that measure or standard by which we're going to be judged is this. When Jesus says, for I was hungry and you gave me food, thirsty and you gave me drink, a stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me, ill and you cared for me, in prison and you visited me. And we might say, Jesus, when did we see you in all of these ways? And he says, whatever you did for these least ones of mine, you did for me. And so this goes back to what I was saying about holiness as daily faithfulness. It's the everyday of life. It's not about abstracting out of life or escaping from the world. Holiness is the stuff of ordinary life. Now I realize I'm a bit over time, so I was going to give a little uh, presentation about the saints of our times. Okay, so I wanted to point.